It's so boom. Hey, check this out. Hey, that TV belonged to GD. So whoever went in here and got that, all y'all need to put that back. So I'm sitting in the cell cooling one day, right? My phone go off. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm looking at the phone, phone looking at me, me and the phone looking at each other. It's the treasure. G about to like two, three cells down from me. I'm reading the message. He talking about, bro, if you old man come down here real quick and help me count the box. Now, I don't really want to do that. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Now, if you don't know what the box is, then let me know you ain't never been affiliated. And if you ain't never been affiliated, I advise you to never get down. So what I'm like, nah, because if we go down there, he and them numbers is off of there, he talking about, yeah, bro, I was waiting for such and such to pay on this day and this, this, that, this, this, that. Now, some, I don't know if somebody done ordered an account or he feel like he need to go ahead and do an account because somebody done said something slick. I don't know what it is. So I, well, I said, you know, I'm going to go on down here and do the account with her real quick. So I pop back to say it right. <laughs> One thing about the penitentiary, ain't never no piece of the penitentiary. That's why I spent a lot of time in the cell. <laughs> On the phone because every time you step out the cell in the penitentiary, I promise you, it's like something going on. Somebody calling your name. It's almost like they watching your door, waiting for you to come out. You see my violation up, and another thing I ain't never put you up on game. Or, or you got the toilet paper hanging at your door. I ain't never really did the toilet paper thing. I always did the violation. So as soon as I come out to say, hey, 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 bro, hey, J hey, Joe T, hey, let me at you real quick. You, 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 you want something from me? You either want a cigarette, you want, you want a summer sausage, you want a soup, you want a cheese bar, you might want a bag of refried brick beans, which is the best thing going in a penitentiary if you ask me. You, it could go in any meal. And so I come out, hey, 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 hold on real quick. I'm on something real quick. Hold on, G. I'm on something real quick. All right, all right, how let me, how let me when you get through, when you get through doing what you're doing. I go to the cell. Joe T. Yeah. Come on in, G Bot. I, I walk in. Bless his cell. Man, God, leave, hey, bro. He got commas here all just dashed out on the floor. See how he doing the count. Then I really he got his phone in his hand, right? And I noticed his phone is on the calculator. He using the calculator on the phone, right? And then so he tell me. Yeah, bro, this is how I'm going to do it. He was like, man, just, we're just going to grab all the summer sausages. How many of us summer sausage it is, you know what I'm saying? I do, 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 do. Get all the tuna packs, get all the, the beef stools, get all the get all this, get all that, get all this. He's separating everything, right? I'm looking at all this food in here. Get what I'm saying to myself? Ain't no way I ever tell them folks to uh, uh nominate me for this for this position right here. Ain't no way I'm going to do this, sit here and count all this food. And then at any given time, any one of the brothers can come up here and order a count on the box. So we get to, I'm like, all right, bro, this this like 57 summer sizes right here. He, all right, the summer sizes at the time, if I remember, it was 2,067 cents. He's two, 2,067.10, time, 57, boom. He added it up. Huh, he write it down on a piece of paper how many summer sizes he did. Do, do, do. I said, boy, boy, they ain't playing about this box in here. He, he said, boy, they don't be playing. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. He said, I really want to give up the position. He said, but they don't want to give it to nobody else. I said, well, I, it's it's uh, about fifty. It's fifty uh, things of tuna right here. That was a uh, look on the commissary sheet real quick, bro, and see how much is a tuna. I said, hold on, what a commissary sheet at? Right there on the shelf. I grabbed the commissary sheet. Uh, uh, out of the the tuna, the two two ninety eight. 298 times 50. See how much the beef stew is while you get it, bro. Uh, the beef stew, uh, the beef, $3.07. How many beef stew packs is it? Uh, it's four to six of them. Bet. How many bags of peanut it is? Bro, why are you even taking peanuts from people, bro? Mother, who, who eating them, bro? Them, them, them been up here for months. What's the expiration date on this? Bro, the peanuts don't, expir don't, don't expire. Well, bro, you, you, you got uh, 67... How much is the peanuts? The peanuts, 42 cents. All right. How many bags of popcorn I got? Man, bro, uh, you got 20 popcorns. That's what's up. Put five of them to the side. I'm going I'm to pay for them myself. All right, bro. So as we going through this, we go through the list. He add up everything. It's over $1,000 worth of commissary, right? So then he, he started pouring out and showing me he got tobacco on here. Because cause he's selling tobacco, you know what I'm saying, to whatever, however, however he's flipping it, right? Then he got shoes and stuff on here. Bro, how do you end up with these shoes? He was like, man, G-Body, you know, people be coming up here paying me, you know what I'm saying, with their shoes, you know what I'm saying, when they can't pay the debt, you know what I'm saying? They can't pay the debt, you know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> hey, hey, you got that 25, and they'll be like... Man, bro, I got a brand new pair of shoes, man. My mom ordered me off Union Supply, bro. You can take the twenty, you can take the shoes. You just have. He said, so I'll be taking the shoes. He said, you know, I got the shoes spread around. And certain brother said, you know what I'm saying? Somebody want to buy some shoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sell them the shoes. I said, how many pair of shoes you got on there, fam? He said, all right, now we got we got about twenty five pairs of shoes. I said, 
25 people done gave you? I said, that's crazy. Man, they be junked out, bro. They can't pay their debt. They got to pay it somehow because they're going to pay Larry. I said, you sure don't know what to say. That's why I don't come over here and get nothing from Larry. On time, I come up here to pay my dude. Matter of fact, when is it due? I got my two dollars. I got. I brought two cheese balls over here right now. I'll go and put that in there. Go and write that down on their paper, too. Joe T paid it because I ain't, I ain't going, bro. Ah, that was a man. I'm gonna tell you something, else, bro. Some, some of you brother can't even pay two dollars for they do, bro. It's crazy, bro. I be looking out for them. And so who, who you, who you, who, who you looking out for, bro? Cause you just said them folks ain't paying, and you and you said you said you looking out, bro. Cause uh, I I got eight I got eight more worth of dudes in here. You trying to tell me somebody ain't been paying they two dollars? Who who is it? Man, bro, we ain't even on all that, bro. I'm just telling you, man. Some of you brother can't even. I be putting it in there for them. That's what I'm saying. I be putting it in there. Ah, right, well, they need to find out. They need to go get them a job or something. We need to holler their brother down there so they can get, get them a job. They need to pay them $2. If I'm paying mine, everybody going to pay. Man, bro, you crazy. Well, look, check this out. He said, oh, yeah, I got these TVs. He said, I got five TVs in the unit. You got TV, bro? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I be renting them out. He was like, yeah, you know, the folk, the folks who ain't got TVs, you know what I'm saying? We just let them watch the TVs, you know what I'm saying? But the people, but the other people, they be renting out the TVs. I said, oh, that was up. So he telling me what it, I don't care what the TVs is at. That ain't, I don't, I don't, I don't care what the TV is at. So after we get through doing the counter work, they call y'all. When they call y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's a dude down here once said he in, he in the wheelchair. My guy, he, he got one of the TVs. And then with the, I got some stories about the guy in the wheelchair. You 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 think you see these guys in the wheelchair? You think they some pushovers? Listen to them. Them, 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 folks, them folks will put their blade at you through your stomach, come out your back. They ain't play no game with you. Don't be playing with them folks. So we go out here on the rec yard, right? We out here, we doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? I walk around the yard a couple of times, politic with some of the guys. You know what I'm saying? Seeing what's going on, this this and that. We come back to the unit. Now, and if you've been to the penitentiary before, you already know penitentiary rules is in effect. And if you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go to the penitentiary. But dramatic affect me, please. This is one of the worst things. This is this this is the thing I hated the most about the penitentiary. And it was shower, shower, shower. I hated hearing shower, shower, shower. They lined up, they on point, they securing, they, they, they whatever they affiliated with, grown men walking other grown men to and fro. I, I couldn't stand it. And a lot of people used it for, 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 to extort people too. You know what I'm saying? It was a way to get over. You get in the way of something, get, walk in front of some of them brokes, some of them crypts that's broke. You know what I'm saying? You want to. You you gonna think, oh nah, they just looking out for the homeboy. Man, hold on, man. You see homeboy coming through here, man. We finna come holler at you, cuz. Soon they say that right there. Cuz if you broke cuz. Just say that, cuz. You you know that man ain't no threat to you. Why you being all aggressive on this man? You done you done stiff on this man in the face. You done highest man on that man. You done man, come on up out of the way. Dude didn't even see what was going on. He partially black. You done, man, come on up, Pete. Man, sorry, I'm sorry, cuz, cuz. Quit saying cuz, too, cuz. What's wrong with you? I'm, I'm sorry, homeboy. I ain't your homeboy. All right, all right, man, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I'm a man before anything. What's wrong with you, cuz? Cuz ain't had no cigarette. Cuz ain't got no commissary. But when he get through escorting his homeboy to that show, oh, he coming to get $6 from you. Hey, 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 homie, you, hey, homie. You 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 done violated that shower, cuz. What's up? Cuz you need to pay that cuz. Yeah, bro. I, I see I seen everybody do it. It wasn't just the crib. I done seen a lot of people. I seen some of the guys do it. I seen some of the guys. Hey, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out, man. You see him coming through, man. You see the G's, man. Bro, what you on, bro? He dude ain't in dude ain't no threat, man. He all to the side. He done pulled over like we coming through like an ambulance, family. He seen us coming, bro. You seen my guy shift over. You you seen that. He but he he got on the wall. He, that that's how they be to <laughs> They shout, shout. Which which way you want me to go? I seen that so many times. They get confused. Cause they scared. They man, shout, shout. Which which way y'all going? Which way y'all going? Which way y'all going? Huh? Alright, alright. My bad, my bad. I right, we'll come and holler at you. Come and see you soon we get out. Bro, he ain't even, man, he was in the way. He seen us coming. He seen us come from the top of the stairs, bro. He, 
Man, bro, you want a soup, bro? Just come over and holler at me. I'm gonna give you the soup. I'm gonna give you the po man, the penitentiary po man meal. What you want? You want the ref? I got the refried bean. I got a, I got a cheese box that I've been cutting up in quarters. I'm gonna give you the little quarter left of, and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the, and I'm gonna give you a soup. You put the soup, the noodles, and the refried bean. Listen to me, penitentiary meal is in effect. I promise you. If you don't been there before, you already know what I'm talking about. But if you ain't never been to the penitentiary, and you don't know nothing about the refried beans, the soup, and the cheese box. I advise you to never go to the penitentiary. So look, so while all of this is going on, the guy in the wheelchair roll up, he, hey man, everybody off the top, the whole part of the tension, he loud as ever. He got the big boy long ponytail, you know what I'm saying? He covered, cause he, he got the roof missing almost like me a little bit. The, the, the top, I'm talking about, he, but he got the ponytail, you know what I'm saying? But when he, you know, you, yeah, it, it, it's out of here. So he rolled, hey man, Man, somebody been in my sticks. We got a thief in here, man. Man, we ain't gonna do that in here, man. We men in here. You know, you gonna take something from me. you. Come on in my cell and take something from me. But then he, then he, then he, he, he look. My my guy hit a trick in the wheelchair. He, you, you don't take something, man. You don't come on in here and take something from me, man. Don't be going in my cell stealing, man. Then he spinning it back around. Oh, hey, man, that's a, he, don't be stealing from me, man. I'm telling you. He, he, then he, he pop a wheelie when he ride. Did y'all think I'm playing? My guy, I said, what, 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 wait a minute, what's wrong with him? He ride the wheelie back to the seat. He snatched the door. He rolled in now. When he, when he rolled up in there, he closed the door. I'm with the treasure. Well, he close to me anyway. You know what I'm saying? Cause we we watching them. Cause I listen. I'm not standing on no point, and I'm not walking no grown man in no shower, bro. Don't don't come get me, H O T. They need you on know side. Who, bro, bro? Go to El bro. I said, do that for me. Tell him I'm gonna give him six dollars. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. So, bro I said, hey, bro, come down here with me, Rick. I said, what's going on? He said, man, uh, you know, folk uh, I got a TV down there. So he go down. I'm I go down. I'm I'm I'm, I'm sitting around watching Brendan real quick. I'm not trying to get involved in that. I don't I don't got nothing to do with this, baby. He go down now. Whatever they discuss, he come back out. My guy say, commercial break me, please. You wanna hear the rest of this story? Go get you a membership. For everybody who complaining about the membership, this is what I don't understand. It's five dollars, fam. You say a YouTube paying me. True enough. I am a man. This is my hustle. This is what I do. It's something I'm trying to do. You don't, if you disagree with the five, that's what's up. That's cool. I ain't asking you to keep the membership. I'm saying go spend the five because it's something I'm trying to do. That's it. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. That's cool. That's on you. But this is what I do. If you decide to unsubscribe, it's petty to me. I'm going to shoot it straight with you. I put in work on him. This is what I do. Go look at how many stories is on here. This this is not easy. <laughs> this ain't easy. Like this is work. But back to the story. If you want to hear the rest of it, go get your membership. The link is in the description. You want to get to the description. Only thing you got to do where you see that title at, you drop down, pow, you hit it, pow, it's going to unfold. When it unfold, you're going to see membership. You're going to see the join. Pow, you hit that link. Get what it's going to do. Transfer you over. And then that what it is. So when bro come out, bro come, I'm looking at bro, bro looking at me, me and bro looking at each other. He said, man, uh, somebody stole the TV up out of the fuck. I'm finna just let you know real quick. I'm finna announce that in the pod. That, that TV belong to GD. And they done stole some of dude hygiene. He said, hey, 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 check this out, man. Hey, I don't know who went in one cell in here, man. I ain't blaming nobody or nothing, but listen to me. If you know who got the TV, man, GD, we, we gonna pay you. He said, but man, that TV they got took up out of there. Man, that belong to GD, man. Somebody need to put that back. When he say that, all the guys come up here. Hey, bro, what's going on, bro? He just said what was going on, family. Let's let get with one of them holler out. Oh, we do the dough. Oh, we do the dough, man. We ain't trying to show no disrespect or nothing, but listen to me, man. We do the who do the dough? Bro, I ain't going no do the dough like I'm the police in here. What y'all finna do? Y'all finna get these four property lists? Look on the back of these four TV. Get with them four D. Them four go do the dough. I'm sitting up real thing to myself. Oh man, this this ain't. Hey, man, a TV got stole, man. Y'all y'all know anything about this? They go door to door 
about somebody stealing the TV. But see, you got to keep in mind, right? You got to keep in mind. They not thinking one of the G's stole the TV from the G's. Now, I don't know if the brother who did whatever he did knew that the TV belonged to the G's. So, so look, get this out. They go door to door. Ain't no, listen, fam. Ain't nobody finna tell you that. Because if somebody tell you that, then it get back to whoever the feeling. Yeah, I seen such. They don't have to answer. Now, now, true enough, they probably wouldn't have said whoever said whatever. But you, you never know how something like that's going to go. And then I'm thinking about, what's going to happen if y'all walk in and y'all see that that's the TV? That, that's what I want to know. And one thing for sure, two things for certain about the penitentiary. Ain't nothing a secret in the penitentiary. I don't care what you think you're getting away with. You're not getting away with it. Somebody saw it. Somebody heard it. Somebody told it, it's something. It's going to, and then listen, it's going to be all over the, the whole penitentiary before the end of the day. I don't care what it is. Let cut out, you know, cousin and, and brother had to fight up there in Unit 4. It's done made it all the way to Unit 12 in five minutes. Everybody already know. They walking out the child hall. You, 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 ain't nobody using their phones in the child hall. <laughs> I don't even know how the information teleport like that. They come out the child house, man. You hear it up there in uniform. Bro, how you, how you know that, bro? I, I don't know, bro. Somebody somebody was coming from the unit transporting the tray. Somebody was coming from the whole transporting the tray or whatever. They got back there. They said it to the kitchen man. The kitchen man was handing the trays, man. Y'all straight up, bro, cuz. I just heard the G's up there in uniform. I heard they got into it with cuz. Boom, they passed it. They walking in the line, man. Hey. Cause them done got in the you know, G done got in the boom. They done sit down next thing you know. One of the G, Crips is cool with the G. Hey, 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 everything, everything. Hey. What you, what's going on? Cause everything straight. I just heard one of, one of the cubs got to fight with one of y'all brothers up there in four. I ain't even heard nothing about it yet. Yeah, you know it was such and such. Then he leaned on, hey, bro. Man, y'all know about uh, what's name got to fight with cubs up there. Before they walk out, the whole the whole child hall already know. Information spread so fast. So if you in there doing something, you ain't got no business to do. Or you done done something, you done thought you done got away with it. Let them. The penitentiary rules in fact. Oh, you ain't got to wait. <laughs> them folks know exactly what you did, when you done it, where you done it, what time you done it. Them folks worse than the police in the penitentiary. I'm telling you something now. <laughs> penitentiary rules in fact. So look, look, after they done did all this and did all that, right? A day or so go by. We, I'm sitting in the cell with the treasure, right? We ain't think nothing about this. Now, pow, 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 pow. He, hey, what's up? Man, I'm trying to get something out of the store, man. He got the store open. He said, yeah, man, hold on real quick. Don't tell you, man, grab the door for me real quick. I lean, I lean, because I'm, I'm right back. I'm sitting on the sink, bro. I lean, pop, push the door open. He blessed this cell. He come in, he was like, man, uh, man, I'm just wondering if I, I know everybody don't like taking hygiene. He was like, man, I'm just wondering if you would take some hygiene, you know what I'm saying, trade me for some food. He was like, yeah, I'll take the hygiene, but I ain't going to do it dollar for dollar. You know what I'm saying? He basically going he gonna to take the hygiene and give him less in commissary. He was like, all right, bet. I'll be right back. So he fade out of the cell, right? Me and me and me and bro, we just, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to him, he talking back, we converse, we having a whole little conversation. Dude, we ain't even thinking about the incident that nothing happened, right? Dude come back to the cell. Pah, bless his cell. He was like, man, uh, this is what I got right here. He got two degree deodorants. He got a dial soap in the box. He got, I said in the box, they'll try you. <laughs> People take their dial soaps. Out of the box, I can't remember what exactly, but they'll take the they'll take it out of the box. Then he got a Colgate toothpaste. So bro got his phone in his hand. He on the calculator. The fool, he bro said, "I right, bet." Excuse me, real quick, Joseph. I move out of the way because behind the door you got the shelf where the, where they put their hygiene and stuff at, right? Then right up under it, you got the little door hooks that's supposed to be for your for your for your coats. But lot because he had all that commissary in there, he hanged the commissary bags up on the little hooks in there to keep the food off the floor. So he making his way over to the commissary. I done moved out of the way, right? I go and take care of your business real quick. I ain't thinking nothing to go on, right? I'm in here cool and I'm chilling. You know, I, I, don't, I don't even listen. I don't do confrontation. I'm not good at confrontation. I'm zero to a life sentence. I don't do the confrontation. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a let's get, let's let's resolve this. Come up with a solution because if, when we crash, we it's over. With. You know what I'm saying? It's over. With. That that's why you go through the list of times I done got in trouble. 
I ain't never went to jail for nothing petty. I'm zero to a life sentence. We, we going to do time. Every time. We're not doing no, we ain't doing nothing. No, we're going to jail. We're going to jail. I promise you. So I move out of the way, right? Bruh set the phone, listen. Bruh set the phone on the sink. When he set the phone on the sink, the man grabbed, I don't know what it was, I don't know if it was a, a deodorant, I don't know what, he set the phone down at the same time, grabbed something off the shelf, and smacked the man at the same time. Pow, grab, poo. Dude, when he grabbed him, he go up against the door. Dude, he locked the door. Dude, I, oh, hold on, hold on, what's going on, G-Bot? He said, man, hold on, Joe T. He said, man, where you get this from? He said, man, wait, man, what are you doing, bro? He said, man, I'm just, he said, man, your brother, your brother, man, your brother. He said, man, where you get, he was like, man, this is the same stuff that was stole out of dude's cell and did his He said, man, I ain't stole nothing from nothing, man. I ain't stole nothing from nobody, man. I don't steal from people in the penitentiary, man. People die, people get unalive for that in the penitentiary, man. He was like, man, your brother asked me to come down here and get, he said, who? He said, man, one of your brothers. He thinking he might be talking about a black man. No, he talking about one of the G's. He said, man, your brother down there, man, is such and such a sale. As soon as he say that, oh, he a work. Oh, he said, man, you talking about something? He was like, man, yeah, man, your brother gave me that, man. He said, man, come on up out of this. He popped the door and smacked him in the back of the head like he just went and got a fresh haircut. He, man, I'm sorry, man. I, he take the stuff. He said, man, I'll be right back, dude. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. I'm going to look him. I'm puzzled. I ain't even going to lie to him. I said, what just happened? Then you got what I'm saying. Did he just say one of the guys stole it? Oh, man. And then I done witnessed this with my own ears at the COF. I said, oh, man. So I walked to the door. I look at the view. I look, I look at the view. Brother and I already went down there and talked to the man in the wheelchair. He on his way back up here. He get the stuff. Oh, hold on real quick, don't he? He take the stuff down there, right? Dude confirmed he had a mark on the bottom of the Colgate toothpaste box. He come back up here, he be like, man, bro, that's the stuff uh, that was stole out of dude's cell, man. He said, man, walk over here with me real quick to go holler at bro. I said, oh, that was up. But at the time, we're not thinking. I don't think he thinking, bro, stole. I don't know. I think maybe bro got this from somewhere. We finna track down where it come from. So now we now we out. We most definitely out here playing investigators. So we come out to see him. We mob over, right? We mob over. He he knock on the door like the police. All oh, this aggression. This is most definitely a GB the reason knock. He man up. Man, what's going on? He man, let me holler at you real quick, G-Bot. Oh, come on in. We pow. He bless it. He bless his head. Like, uh, bless his head. He said, man, hey, oh. Uh, Cause he, he hey, oh. Uh, dude just came to the cell talking about you all. Uh, sit him over to get to get some commentary with that hygiene. He was like, man, bro, where you get that from? He was like, man, bro, I ain't nobody. He was like, man, I just told him. He was like, man, that's the same stuff that was stole out of dude's cell down there, bro. He said he got there from you. Man, ain't nobody been doing no stealing, bro. Bro, known for stealing. There's a bro, bro been known for stealing. And just the folks he's stealing from. See, let me tell you, the commercial break, they play. Penitentiary rules in effect. See, a lot of people, when they stealing in the penitentiary, what they do, they, they, they aggressive stealers. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they most definitely strong arm. And then when they strong arm you, what they doing is they telling you, you tell anything, you tell anybody about this, I'm come see you about it. And one of the penitentiary rules is you're going to deny everything that was said. So even if somebody tell that you came down there and did something to them, get what they going to do. They going to go ahead and go in your grill. They going to they gonna John Claude Van Damme you. And then by that, when they do that, what that make it look like is you didn't do what they said you did. So that, that's just a penitentiary for next move. So evidently, this ain't one of those situations. He, 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 didn't, he didn't calculate his moves right. But bruh is known for stealing. It just ain't nobody reported him on that extent and we're going to see it through because he was going to go in their mouth. I mean, then he robbing the right folk and they thinking GD going to have his back. But what, what they do not know is stealing is against the law when you're dealing with GD. So when he said, he's like, man, bro, somebody, he was like, man, dude across the hall, man, gave me that stuff, man, came over and got a cigarette the other day, smoked a cigarette with me, bro. He was like, man, nobody been doing no stealing. He said, who, who came over here and smoked a cigarette with you? Man, bro, that's my personal being that Brian no He said, man, somebody stole from GD, man. GB the reason. I said, I'm sitting back like this. <laughs> he said, 
Man, dude over in such and such, man, he say who dude is. There was a GD on that. GD on that. Come on, Joe T. He treat me like I'm the flunk or something. Bro, I'm not thinking he follow you around and where but well, let's go in. I'm gonna hey, hey you come on. <laughs> so we come, we come out to say it right, fade across the hallway. We go over there. See, brother and calculate this move. When we get over to go holler, bro, we get over to go holler this dude, dude. He's hey, he said, man, uh, he said, man, that stuff you sent, that stuff you so, bro, you know what I'm saying, for that secret the other day, he was like, man, uh, that, that was stole. He said, somebody stole that from one sale, and it was something in there that belonged to GD. He was like, man, you stole that stuff? He like, man, I don't steal nothing from nobody, man. Man, I'm here doing my time, man. People get hurt for stealing. He was like, man, I ain't got to steal nothing from nobody, man. He was like, man, I ain't no disrespect. I don't even appreciate this. I said, I, 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 we might got the wrong one. Man, I ain't steal enough from nobody. He said, so you ain't so you ain't take that. He said, well, where you get that stuff from that you took? He said, man, I just went over and smoked a cigarette with him and gave him some commissary. He said, so you ain't give, bro, two deodorants, a dial. So, man, I'll stop you right there, man. I ain't gave nobody no hygiene, man. I don't even know who told you that, man. Yo, bro, yo, who told you that? He said, man, don't even wear it. He said, man, so you ain't, man, no, I ain't gave him no hygiene, man. I gave him two tunas, man, and the summer sauces, man. I ain't got nothing. I don't even, I don't trade for commissary. I don't trade uh, cigarettes and stuff for, for hygiene, man. Nobody want to do, nobody want hygiene and stuff, man. I gave him two tunas and the summer sauces, bro. I don't steal from nobody in here. He done got all loud in the unit. I'm sitting there looking around. Man, come on, bro. Man, you, man, I ain't got to steal from nobody, man. Come on, man. I ain't doing time like that. He get the he strut out. He got the penitentiary for Zeke, right? He, man, I ain't. I said, man, you think he ain't got all dick in his shoulders there? You better quit talking to folk like that. Cause right now, folk on the rampage about who got that TV. So, so we we fade back over to the unit, right? And then it just it, it, it finna get ugly. Cause brother lied. Now keep in mind, when we go in here the first time, let me back you up real quick. Let me rewind you. When we go in the cell, now I did notice that it was a TV in there. But see, the TV, the bro on the top bunk. See, the TV sitting on the shelf, which means it could be his cellar TV. Because when you're on the top bunk, your TV sit on the top shelf. Now, it's, it's padded people in the penitentiary. Now, believe this, believe this, listen, penitentiary rules in effect. If you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go to the penitentiary. Because if your cellar got a TV and he padded and he on that top bunk, He'll sit that thing up there and watch that TV and put them heads, put them headphones on. You won't be watching no TV. You won't be watching no TV. And then the, the dude on the bottom can be just as petty. He then you'll watch it, but you won't hear it. He'll put his headphones in. I done seen plenty of people get to fighting about that right there. I done seen plenty of people get to fighting about uh, not sharing their commissary. Matter of fact, I got a story about it, about one of the brothers. <laughs> so <laughs> one of the brothers, one of the brothers done got in a little tussle in there. He wasn't sharing that food. Yeah, dude got sick of. <laughs> well, look, so when we fade back, we're not thinking that the TV that was in the room would come out of the cell. We, we just, it was just a TV in there. And we're not thinking, because all the G's are aware that the TV that was stole out of there belonged to the folks. So we're not thinking that the folks is crazy enough to have a TV in the cell, like we, what, what is going on? So we fade back over, right? As we walking over, bro say, bro got that TV. I said, who? He said, I'm telling you. He said, man, bro got that TV. He done lied on dude about that commissary, this, this, and that. So we pop, 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 pop. He, what's up? He said, man, it's me. We fade in the cell, pop. Bless his head. Man, dude say he, he get straight to the business. Man, dude said he he ain't sold you no hygiene, folks. What you where you get that where you get that hygiene from? Man, bro, it ain't even nothing like it. Who TV is it right there? Man, bro, I bought that TV from such and such. Who you buy the TV from? Man, come on, man, y'all all in my business. Joe T, call the PC. Get the bro, get bro over real quick. He want me to call the PC over here. I said, I don't know no, real quick. No, no. Pow, bless it. Hey, hey, you about? Let me holler at you real quick. So he come down. We standing outside the door. I said, look. They done call folks still. He said, what? I said, don't repeat that, though. But uh, <laughs> look, look, look. That TV, I guarantee we finna find out the TV to come out of one cell. Brother done sent somebody up to the cell to get to trade for some commissary. And it was the hygiene out the cell. But that what he's saying, he got the hygiene. Come on, bro. Let's go ahead real quick. He, all right, all right. 
Now we fade in zero. They in here, oh man, come on, G Body, come on up out of my cell, bro. Bro, I ain't that's that, that my person. That ain't got nothing to do with you. I just sent this to this and that, man. I don't know this, this, and that. Man, where this TV come from, bro? He ain't touched the TV yet, though. Man, bro, I brought that TV, bro. Reach the grand. He's man, come on, bro. You touching my stuff up, man. What's going on? Man, y'all act like y'all the GD police. At this point, he is. He he is. I'm just in here. I'm just in here for I'm just in here for uh witness purposes. I'm not, I'm not finna hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Y'all come on, bro. Y'all can't be putting your hands on each other. Cause they know you can't put your hand. Come on, bro. Y'all can't no Joe T, man, he tripping, bro. Man, he ain't ain't even nobody on that, bro. Brusty original for the TV. Let me see that TV real quick, bro. He grabbed the TV. How you please, folk? Everybody get silent. <laughs> we looking at him, he looking back. We all looking at each other. He said, man, what you mean, G? As the TV out of one cell, folk. It got the mark on the back. It's, it's got the Larry. It's got the Larry mark on the back. He said, man, how you please, folk? He said, man, that hygiene came from the same place. And then I just went over and hollered the dude. He said, man, uh, Joe T, hey, go over and get dude real quick. He, he he talking to me like he the C.O.N. He talking to me. <laughs> I'm going to let the treasure take care of it. Hold on real quick. I fade out. Go over and get dude. Hey, you will come over. Man, I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. Man, just, man. Give me just a sec, bro. Let me run the cell real quick. I don't know if he had to grab a knife. I don't know if he had to put up something. I don't know. We fade on over. Bless the cell. Look at that serious and penitentiary. We walk in the cell. Man, what's going on? Hey, what you said? What 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 you could bring, bro, over here? You know what I'm saying? For the for the man, I told you, man, I gave him two tunas and a summer sausage, man. That's why I gave him. He said, bro, you man, bro, you gave me this. man. No, I didn't, man. Be honest, man. I ain't trying to be in the middle of it with you, bro. Bro, try to get a man. Bro said, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. We ain't finna do none of that. We ain't finna. He said, man, I'm out of here, man. I ain't got nothing to do with this, man. I'm out of here. He said, go on, get up on up. He he blessed me. He said, man. I'm gonna ask you one more time, bro. If I got to write this paperwork up, we ain't finna play with you. You plead guilty right now. He said, I'm gonna call the team and we'll get three minutes, no cover. He said, man, three minutes? Oh, he already admitted guilt. He just tried to figure out. He said, man, three minutes. He said, man, if I got to write this paperwork up, he said, bro, six. Six, bro. He said, you run, you run right here stealing. And then you ain't all right. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. T T T T T P Fo. T P Fo. T P Fo. Y'all get too loud. We get too loud. Now nah, Joe T man, this man done stole the baby stole the TV from the business, bro. And then he all right. I said, I get you. I said, bro, 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 hold on, bro. I said, bro, you ain't winning this man and saying, man, bro, I ain't even do it like that, bro. I, such, such, such. I ain't know the I ain't know the TV below. But you knew soon as bro said that TV below the TV, bro. You supposed, man, bro, I'm just saying, man, bro, I've been trying to get a TV. Them folks like came in and got my TV twice, this, this, and that, and man, I ain't just, how you plead there, folk? Man, come on with the three minutes, man. Come on with the, come on, man. Come on, man. Go on, do it now, man. Bro, come on with that TV. I said, man, man, come on, bro. Let me go and rent the TV. No, ain't no rent no TV, bro. Ah, we play. Hey, hey, g bot Everybody fade over. We have an OD in the cell first. Well, hey. Hey, G, oh, such and such, boo, 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 boo. man, bro, what you think you got going on, y'all? Hey, who, who got the time, bro? I got the time, bro, bro, tripping. We step out of the cell, you know what I'm saying? I go back up to the cell, we sit over, all you hear, they fade out of the cell, dramatic effect, me, please, and slam the door. 